This tutorial is brought to you by Halo Moment. Hello everyone, I'll get straight to the point here. This tutorial will showcase and teach you how to fusion coil jump, vehicle launch and boundary break, and the variations of each. You can skip ahead to the one you want with the chapters I made. You'll notice a stat screen like this pop up, and it is meant to show us how the basic traits each technique has. One lit skull being the lowest and five lit skulls being the highest for that trait. If the technique requires a skull, a disclaimer will be on the bottom left. Anyway, let's get straight into it. First up, the fusion call jump. It allows you to go vertically really far and fast and only requires an upright fusion coil to do. Just find an upright fusion coil, jump above it and grapple as soon as you go directly above. It will send you really high up and is good for getting to high places quickly. It's useful during firefights to get the jump on enemies, but it requires skill to pull off on the fly. Next up, Fusion Coil Leap. It allows you to fly horizontally, but the speed and range highly depend on your timing. Just find a Fusion Coil that's on angle or slope, or you can do it yourself like what I'm doing. Jump in front of it and grapple as soon as the top of the coil is facing you. It will send you flying in the direction the coil is facing. It can send you very far if your timing is right. Use thrusters to course correct. Next up are vehicle related launching tech. They are all compatible with non-tank vehicles and Warthogs and Razorbacks are only used for demonstration purposes. Target. This is the Volatile Skewer tech. It uses the blast from a Volatile Skewer to propel vehicles far. You can then grapple onto said vehicle and go extremely far in one direction. Go behind the vehicle of your choice. Shoot a volatile skewer next to or even below it at the angle you want. And then grapple onto it as soon as it explodes. Let go of the grapple at the peak of trajectory to fly all the way to your destination. Volatile Hybrid is a modification of this, trading precision for speed. Do the same steps as the regular version, but after shooting the skewer, throw a plasma grenade at the vehicle, then grapple to it ASAP and let go at the apex of your trajectory. The grapple occasionally snaps due to the speed, but that's usually fine. This is the plasma tank. It's very easy to do and packs a lot of speed and momentum. Throw a plasma grenade near or even at the vehicle in the direction you want, and grapple right before it explodes. Pretty simple. It's just a pain to find the required plasma grenades. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far, leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me. The Shock Chopper is a special case. It's the only vehicle tank that doesn't require the cowbell skull nor the grapple hook. Just throw a shock grenade ahead of the chopper, preferably at an angle, then boost into the shock nade AOE, and you and the chopper will fly off into the distance. A good spot to do this is here, as it has a stockpile of grenades and two choppers for you to use. The frag grenade is pretty much identical to the plasma one, but it requires more skill because of how the grenade bounces. It's much more convenient though since frag grenades are very accessible. Just get behind the vehicle, throw a grenade, make sure to account for the bounce and grapple onto it. Let go at the peak of your trajectory or else you'll lose all your momentum and fall. The hammer is probably the most difficult of them all. It requires extremely precise timing, but has good speed and reach. Just go behind your vehicle, hammer, then immediately grapple. It looks simple, but it takes a long time to get the timing right. The window of time where you can grapple is incredibly short. I find it a bit easier to do so if you walk or jump, then hammer. It makes the timing much more forgiving. This is the boundary breaker. 
It lets you bypass short invisible walls that are usually found across the map. It is compatible with any other vehicle launching method. First up, you launch the vehicle, grapple onto it and grapple pound as soon as it reaches the other end of the wall. The timing is very important as being too late or too early kills you. If you enjoyed or learned something from this video, consider leaving a like and or subscribing. It really helps me, a content creator, a lot. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you learned something.